What's up guys, it's Tuesday, November 9th, and today is cardio day. So we're gonna go hit the gym, probably do the Stairmaster, maybe run or do an incline walk, and then also do some abs. So um, we're gonna do a killer ab uh, exercise today, and we'll take you guys along for that. Um, but, so the reason I'm doing cardio, normally I don't do that. Normally I do like a nice split, so I like to think of it as like a push-pull legs day. It's easy to just say that to the camera. Um, so usually, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday being my legs, and then repeat Saturday being my legs, and then Sunday rest. Well, today I'm doing Taekwondo class, and um, I, instead of fatiguing myself, and lifting it very heavy today I'm just gonna go do cardio and do abs and then we're gonna um, do taekwondo class for those of you who don't know I do martial arts and so I do that tonight it's Tuesday night and then uh, so that's an hour long class and usually I stay for a little bit of extra training um, and we go through and do self-defense um, if it's you know sparring day then we'll spar and also we do like forms and stuff like that so a mix of techniques but for the most part we do a lot of kicking drills and stuff like that so um, like I said I don't want to fatigue myself and I have had some trouble with my shoulder um, and fatiguing it in the past doing a major pool day or a push day and then going to class just based on some of the techniques that we do and also we do some throws in self-defense and my shoulder doesn't really like that if it's already been fatigued previously the same day if you guys follow what I'm saying but yeah we're gonna go to the gym and uh, and we're gonna hit abs and do major cardio so yesterday it was really nice out and I did one last major detail for those of you who don't know I own my own detailing company and uh, before the winter, I like to do some major detailing um, on, you know, my family's vehicles and my vehicle um, just before winter because, you know, Ohio weather sucks and there's a lot of salt on the road and it really damages your vehicles, honestly. So I decided to do one last major detail on the truck and guys, when I tell you she's shining, I know it's a little cold and frosted, but it's shiny and I'm really happy how it turned out so I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you all right I hope it picks it up pretty well so it's actually green yeah now you guys can tell so it's pretty shiny you can see my reflection pretty well don't mind the rock chips man because honestly it's a truck it gets used and abused. And I had some big mud tires on here before I bought these, which these are much nicer. But when I had those mud tires, man, it kicked rocks up everywhere and it just chipped the shit out of the paint. And uh, it was really annoying, so yeah. But I thought I, got, I thought I would show you the outside of the vehicle before we left. Yeah, this is my 2014 Silverado. So let's hop in and go to the gym. All right, guys, so I promised a little bit of motivation with these videos some days, and uh, today I thought I would take you along for a good quote. Um, like I said, every morning I write down two quotes, and this was just one of them. And uh, it's from the wise words of Mr. Chris Bumstead. And uh, if you guys follow the bodybuilding community and stuff like that, you know who he is. But he is now three-time uh, Mr. Olympia for the class men's classic physique. And um, he's one of my idols. And he's just all around, like, what I've strived to be attitude-wise. And um, he once said in training... Well, actually, no, this was his clip of him winning Mr. Olympia, and, you know, they usually do a speech and stuff, and his speech basically said um, that for those people who have big dreams, that's good, and your dreams should scare you, because that just means you're dreaming big, and uh, I think that is so true, because 
I have big goals and I have big dreams and they do scare me and that's what people don't want you to see is that your dreams scare you but in reality they should scare you because that means that you're dreaming big enough and it gives you something to work for and um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, hope that motivates you a little bit you know that's the reason I try to do what I do in my life and try to be better is even if even if it's like I take that for my workout and stuff like that and I, I feel that in my workouts but it shouldn't just be that it could be your life I know some of you guys who watch this are just you know people who don't work out or, or aren't into fitness which is totally okay and I appreciate if you guys are watching me even though you don't enjoy that stuff that that just means that you're truly watching my videos and I really appreciate that so thank you but I was just going to say that you could translate that into anything in your life and that um, you know if you are dreaming about something and you're not going about it then try to take I challenge you guys to try to take those steps to um, you know do that and to try to go out of your comfort zone and strive to do something amazing and uh, it is gonna be scary and uh, you know what I I'm a big believer of you know um, of these quotes and stuff like that but you know I really try to implement them in my life right now you know I'm you know trying to figure out kind of what I want to do with my life and uh, it's scary you know but I guess the cool thing is is I don't have it figured out so it's kind of like what new and exciting thing is gonna happen to me today you never know because I don't have things figured out and uh, I kind of look forward to that in a crazy way that I don't have certain things tying me down and it's cool but it does scare me sometimes and I'm a very anxious person I get very anxious when I don't have a plan and stuff but I'm learning that you just got to enjoy the process and enjoy the you know craziness in life and just live it to the best of your ability and also that you know it's good that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and, and for me you know stepping out of my comfort zone is a big deal because you know for a long time I got stuck in a certain way and th that way just a it didn't work and B I just I, I stopped taking care of myself I stopped you know striving for those goals and I stopped working so hard and I just got comfortable going through the motions and that's one thing that I never want to do again it's just be comfortable and complacent i kind of got on a tangent but you know i hope you guys enjoy this and uh we're gonna go hit the gym and crush it and use that to feel us so i just got gas uh we finished up at the gym needed needed to stop to get gas so uh can can i just vent for a minute i guess regular 87 was 332 and I got a big old truck. Luckily, I used 30 cents off, but it was still $70 to fill up my tank. Just crazy gas prices right now. I mean, I get the world's going crazy right now, but like, dude, we gotta do something about these gas prices, cause like, they're making it very hard to own a gas vehicle right now. And it sounds funny, but I th honestly truly believe that I think my Mustang <laughs> gets just as much gas mileage as this big honking truck does. I mean, not that that's anybody else's fault. I mean, I bought the damn truck. But still, the gas prices need to lower a little bit. I mean, this is ridiculous. $70 to fill up a truck. Like, 87 It's not even like I'm putting 92 I didn't... Or, you know, 91. I, I didn't even check what premium was, to be honest with you. And I'm glad I probably didn't, because I probably would have had a freaking meltdown. But anyway, I don't know. I got a full tank in the truck, so we're good for the week. Hopefully, hopefully it will last a week. We'll see. So I did a killer cardio day, like I said earlier. And um, I also did abs. But here's what I did. So I'll put, them, I'll put the results up on the screen. 
walking. So I did the Stairmaster, I believe it was like 22 or 23 minutes or whatever. Burned like 280 something calories. And I basically did every two minutes up until I believe minute 12, I went up by two levels. So I started out at six, then eight, then 10, then 12, then 14 to 15 because I was feeling a little bit crazy. So I did 15, then I dropped down, um, back down to eight, and then I did um, 10, and then 12, and then I believe, yeah, I finished out with a cool down, and that would have been my two extra minutes, and that was like a level six, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'll put the results up there and um, but yeah, that was pretty crazy. Then I did um, something that I uh, have been doing a lot lately and it, and it really helps. So um, a long time ago, I had a lot of ankle issues. I'm, I'm very flexible and, um, and everybody thinks it's cool and all and it, and it is and it does help a lot, but it, it kind of sucks in a way and it's a curse. So um, I did this progression and I did four minutes today I did um, 2.0 mile per hour on the treadmill 3% incline 3.0 and I walked backwards and um, you really want to work on keeping your um, feet in line and not waddling I, I do have a habit of going from the um, outside to inside so like when I uh, step I, I kind of roll my ankle towards the inside which is a really bad habit but it's very common and uh, that really does um, you know a lot of interior damage uh, and you'll notice it later on in life so I'm really trying to focus on you know not having so much um, fatigue later on um, because I, I didn't have proper technique so I did that and uh, it was it was really good and it, and it really helped and I was very concentrated on you know keeping good technique and it ended up working very well but um, yeah I've been doing that and it really helps so I, I would definitely suggest people um, to try that for sure but I did that and then I went and did uh, 50 sit-ups no rest 50 push-ups no rest and then I went into um, 20 um, sit-ups with uh, like a Russian twist at the top and then I did so 10 on each side so that you know 20 and then I did this new thing that um, me and my dad have been doing and um, it's a very good core exercise so you keep your um, you know your belly button pushed in and, and you really kind of like suck in you know air and, and um, you know keep everything very tight and you use a band so the bands attached to something then you uh, so like I used like a, a little bit like um, a pole um, that's in the cardio room and I did that and uh, what I ended up doing was um, taking the other side of the band and it has resistance well then you get into like uh, a really good like um, in martial arts we call it like a horse stance so a deep stance where your knees are bent and um, you take it as far out as you can well then you have your arms completely straight out in front of you and then you just twist your core you don't use your shoulder you don't use any movement um, whatsoever with with your arms you keep them completely straight and you just twist so it's basically a Russian twist but vertical and you use that band as resistance and like I said you keep your your core tucked and you keep it you know air sucked in and it's a really really good workout so I did you know um, 20 on each side and I was really focusing on a high resistance um, so that was really really uh, <laughs> kind of kicked my ass to be honest with you all right what is up guys so um, here in a minute we're gonna leave to the Taekwondo school I'm teaching tonight with my dad and uh, we're gonna go there and uh, today is actually sparring day so um, which is gonna be really nice so we'll get a few rounds in tonight and um, hopefully kick some ass, I guess. So uh, my class is the last class of the night. It starts at seven o'clock. It's an hour long 
And um, yeah, so like I said, it's sparring day, so we normally do a lot of kicking drills. Um, you know, especially when we're teaching, we like to get the kids warmed up and stuff, and uh, get them ready. So we do usually some drills as well, um, interacting with their partners. And then we get them ready, and then they usually spar a few rounds. Like I said, it's going to be a sparring day, so I'm pretty happy about that. I, I, I honestly love to spar, and uh, today I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, we did cardio, so I'm a little bit tired, but I think we'll be good by the time, uh, you know, 7 o'clock hits. It's only, you know, uh, 3.40 right now, so it ain't too bad. And, yeah, but I thought I, I would update you guys. So, as far as sparring goes and stuff, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that content. Um, you know, I, I don't know how exactly I would film it, but, um, you know, at least today, you know, it's not really a, a mandatory, like, sparring day per se. It, it's a regular class and then we just spar uh, uh, today. But Saturday we have um, just a sparring class, so that's all we do. And um, you know, if you guys were really interested, usually I'm uh, in that class and I help. Um, there's not usually many people there to, for me to spar, to be honest with you. It's a lot of more uh, kids and young teenagers. And so, but if you guys are interested, I could probably get some buddies to you know come to that class more and we we could spar a few rounds but if that's the type of content you guys want to see as well um to film it and uh, get some of that in these videos as well so we're gonna go to the school and uh kick some ass and then i'll update you guys at the end all right peace all right guys so i'm back we're on our way home and uh we just got out of uh, taekwondo class and um yeah it was pretty good uh, I'll be honest, I'm pretty tired doing cardio and then doing class tonight. I'm a little exhausted, so, you know, we're on our way home. I'm going to go home, eat, probably eat some chicken and rice, um, and then uh, also probably have maybe, maybe a protein shake. We'll see. I don't know. And then we're going to go to bed because I'm very tired. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, yeah, so I hope the class is... Um, in the evening and uh they went really well actually and uh you know it's awesome to see the kids that um you know were once struggling especially on sparring days you know sparring's not as easy as everybody thinks it is but yeah so you know it's nice to see the kids that once were struggling just doing really really well and doing everything that you know we're telling them to do and and really learning and and being better which is awesome so i'm happy to see that and it's cool that i'm a part of that um but anyway so my class it was pretty good um like i say sparring day we did kicking drills like i thought we would we warmed up really really well so you know it wasn't sore before but i'm sure as hell feeling it now <laughs> let's put it that way but i sparred pretty well um i was running most of the rings um because half the class uh didn't d doesn't have gear so um you know i took the other half of the class that did and uh so basically i ran most of the rings um which is fine i just don't get as many rounds in as i normally do uh just because i'm making sure everybody else is getting rounds in and also i was refereeing which being a good ref that I, i'm taking care of the kids and stuff like that and um there were some oddball matchups today so uh, at least in that class so i wanted to keep an eye out just just be safe you know it's better to be safe and then sorry um but anyway uh so I, I believe i got yeah i got three rounds in and, um both were two minutes and uh they were pretty good um you know i'm seeing some improvement um moving a lot faster more endurance um also a lot more hip strength for me to throw headshots and also um you know being able to control those headshots so you're not injuring your partners which is always good um but yeah improvement is improvement and, uh, and all in all today was a good day so i'm happy with that but class was good so nothing to complain there just thought i would update you guys with that um but with that being said we'll roll the outro thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and uh 
you know, turn on that bell if you want to be notified. I would really appreciate it. But you guys who are supporting me is is really awesome, and and it's not going unnoticed, and I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I know I, I joke around like there's probably only five people watching, and in reality, my views suck. But the people who are actually watching this, even if you're not even making it to the end or you're just skipping through, I just want to take the moment to say i really appreciate you guys and um I, I, you know i hope you're enjoying it i really do and i i know it, i'm still figuring this shit out and uh it, it's kind of rough but just know that i appreciate you guys so much and uh thank you so much for watching i'll hopefully have a video up here soon peace out thank you so much for watching